are here with the beautiful anchor woman, Pat Harvey. How are you today? Oh, thank you for that. And look at you. My God, talk about beautiful. I am really doing well. Wonderfully blessed to be here today. Thank you. Well, um, so what brings you here to the Days of Soul today? You know, this is the 11th annual, so I know I've been here for at least half of those years. I mean, consecutively, five or six years for sure. I love being here because of what Taste of Soul represents. Um, besides uh, being such a big fan of, of Danny Bakewell, obviously, and the Wave, of course, it's just a, a wonderful representation of our community. I love it when we can show off the Shaw like this to people all over the world. They have tens of thousands of people that come out and taste delicious food, they hear great music, but more importantly, we commune with each other. And I don't think there's any other time in the year when, when all of us can get together and uh, I'm gonna say glorify one another yeah. as this choir is just singing behind us. It's just a really good feeling. And if you guys don't know, Miss Pat Harvey is the number one the longest running anchor woman on primetime television ever. Um, and you were honored uh, a few years ago um, yes. with Pat Harvey Day. So we wanna know. What are you going to do for Pat Harvey Day? And it's coming up this month, October 30th. Oh my goodness, aren't you sweet? If, well, if that's a work day, I'm probably going to work. <laughs> okay. I know I'm going to work. and that, But you know what? That's part of the whole process and the formula. I just, I love being able to inspire people. I was going to say I love what I do. You know, sometimes you, you present some of the most dire uh, news ever. But at the same time, there are other things that I think people should know about, and I want to make sure that I'm there to present it in the most professional and comprehensive way as possible. And also in a way that makes people feel comfortable tuning in to watch. You know what I mean? I hear so many people saying, God, I can't watch. There's just too much bad news. But hopefully they can turn and say, well, okay, I trust her. Because I really do believe in the community, and I believe in people. So that's why I'm still working. <laughs> Yeah, and I was just going to ask, what does keep you going, and how do you stay fit? I mean, you look fabulous, so what That's keeps so nice. you going? Well, I do exercise. I do work out. Uh, I try to eat as healthy as possible. But again, I think it's it's just my heart. I do love meeting people, and I love telling people stories. I also love traveling around the country, around the world, and bringing stories that people may not know about as an inspiration to other people. So as long as I can do that, and, and I'm healthy enough to do it, I would love to be here and love to do that. And I think, as journalists, we have to get outside of ourselves and understand the communities that we're talking about. Because otherwise, why should you listen to me? Yeah, yeah. Right? Especially in today's society when we're facing so much, facing such a harsh political climate. Uh, so what would you encourage uh, people out there, our, our community here today with the upcoming election season? I'm going to tell us to have faith, yeah. okay? Um, I talked to my daughter about this. Um, we have never seen anything like this in our lifetimes, but I still have to believe that we will overcome and you know what, if this prompts people to get more involved in the election process, because we can change it. We can. What we don't like, make your voices heard. And I think we do that in a, in a respectful manner. You may not please everybody. We also have to understand, though, that we can, uh, we can disagree agreeably, but there could be something for all of us. Let's work together to make this a better country and to move it forward. And if this isn't any indication that makes you want to Get up off, right? Yeah. Then, so I'm always going to be optimistic. As crazy as it seems right now, I, I'm, I'm knowing we're going to get over this. Yes, yes. Really. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Harvey. We appreciate you, and we hope you enjoy the Taste of Soul 11th Annual. That's right. Everybody have a great time today. You're a good interviewer. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, I have you to look up to. So. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.